Okay, so we're gonna go over the installation of the Mac, Max Extreme Shell for MacBook Air 13. Uh, we have a Extreme Shell here, and mostly concerned with the top portion, uh, which is here. And on a lot of the new ones that are shipping, there is a notation inside that says top and bottom. Um, but just FYI, the, the thicker bumpers are on the bottom and the thinner bumpers here on the top corner. So essentially, if you're looking at it like this, your uh, sh extreme shell is going to go like that. So I've kind of just set it on there just to kind of get a feel for how it goes. The one thing you do want to do is have these bottom hooks uh, here and here kind of just hold it in place. I kind of go once with an initial press all the way around just to kind of start it. And you'll get a few of the hooks to go right away. And then what I'll do is to go ahead and open it up and then I continue to kind of just go around the perimeter and make sure that the entire thing snapped in. Now, what you want to verify when you get it all the way on, there's a few things. There's that last one right there. So if you look at this, the perimeter here, the main hook, main hooking points are the bottom left and right. There's a second hook point on the top left and right. And then on the very top of the screen, there's two more hooks there. And those are secure here now. Um, and then on the bottom, it looks there in the bottom as well, that the, you have a hook that's also here and here. So right now, we're not gonna have, let's try and flex this piece here, we're not gonna have any flex there or there. And you can already see kind of how the shell itself extends past the perimeter of the actual device that's gonna create that layer of protection all the way around. So that's the top piece there. The bottom piece is fairly straightforward. Um, again, you kind of have your pop-up feet on the bottom, so those are gonna go towards the back of the device. Again, I, I always kind of lead with this back area here to where I want to have those pieces. Uh, make sure that those are kind of snug right there. So let me get that on and I'll show that. So you can see there that that hook and that hook are going to slide there. And then again, same thing before I open it, I'm kind of just going to go around the entire thing and just kind of squeeze it all together, go all the way around. Again, kind of verifying that back piece that I've got a hook here and a hook here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is open it up again. And then I'm gonna go around again on the lower piece on the inside and make sure I've got, there's, see, there's the last one. You usually get most of them on that first pass, but on the last one around, you're gonna get them. So I'm gonna leave this keyboard upside down so you can see that there's the one, two pieces that are on the bottom, in this case on the top, but there's one hooked here, here. There's a secondary one that's on the right side. Actually, there's two here on the right side, and then one, two on the left side. You close it, you're gonna again see kind of now they're both there. Um, and again, you kind of see the overhang, but I would say the key component as on both top and bottom is to start here on this back black panel of the MacBook Air, this is the 13, and make sure that we have these secured and then you're going to keep it closed, do once over all the way around, then open it, do the second all the way around. That should get you a good installation uh, for the Extreme Shell on the MacBook Air 13.